Good morning, Steam Steves. It is June 17th, 2021, at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming. Today we have a little video game news. Uh, um, as you know, I occasionally do video games on this channel, not very well, um, and I stumbled across this yesterday. Apparently it is Next Fest. Um, so, if you are a video game person and looking for some demos or some insight of what might be coming out, I guess this is a thing um, on Steam. These are all demos? Some of these are demos? Um, I think these are demos. So, here's some demos uh, that are available to from now to the 22nd on Steam. Free demos. Um, yeah, I think every one of these is a demo or at least a video about it, the thingy. Some of these are playable, some of these might not be playable, but they're all just some things about some games that are coming up. I've already downloaded one. Um, I might have to take a look at these to see if any of the else are things I really like that I might want to try playing. I'm not really a video game guy so i don't know if i'm the best person to be talking to you about this but it's just something fun to take a look at and keep your brain busy maybe over a weekend or if you're you know want to know what's going on in the world of video games um so um i guess any of these that say live are being steamed streamed whatever probably on twitter or maybe youtube um now uh, so what's this? This is, oh, here we go, most downloaded demos. So every, you can click this here, um, and you can see which ones are actually our demos. And then if somebody on the Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, whatever universe is checking it out, um, it will say live now. So something, somebody's playing it now somewhere in the world. And then if it's a game that sounds interesting to you, like, I don't know, well, this one you can watch somebody play it and then go oh yeah it's a game i want to play in the future oh, oh my god what was i think i never want to play this game um i don't know why i picked that one probably because of the hat so there you go some video game news this is all on steam from now through the 22nd it looks like hundreds of demos um why is this happening i think or maybe it already happened, but you know, they used to have this big video game convention in uh, Nevada. Um, EC3? E3? Something like that. Um, and then it became um, a big digital media convention uh, as, you know, streaming became more of a actual thing in the world as opposed to just sort of this obscure thing um the is it, is it ec is it e3 probably i i don't know i'm not a video game guy anyway it's it's held in vegas or was held in vegas and it's either just happened or it's going to happen which is probably why we're having this on steam right now because of this big video uh, digital media festival convention that happens every year. Plus, of course, we're a year behind because um, COVID happened, so the world shut down for a year. So these are probably all things that we would have seen last year had COVID not shut the world down. So, you know, from the point of view of distributing stuff, there's an entire year missing because all the events that would have happened to show people your stuff didn't happen. So, you know, a lot of production is a year behind. Um, a lot of things shut down because of COVID. A lot of things were put on hold. So now we're seeing the world catching up, which means we're seeing things like this. So again, if you're a video game person, and you want to see some demos or you want to see people playing the demos or you want to take a you know a look at what's going on in the world of video gaming and maybe give you some insight to oh where the where the medium's going um 
one thing I'm not, it, it, you can already see there's just two different schools of thought here going on. Uh, we have the technologically forward stuff uh, that's taking advantage of all the current evolutions of the technology to the most, as far as they can push it, you know, this kind of stuff, this thing you hear, uh, you know, we have the art, really cool art. Oh, wow. Look at that. The, that's very airtight garage Mobius, uh, heavy metal. That might be fun playing. I'll put that one on the wish list. Um, Sable. Yeah, we might have to play that one. That looks cool. Even though I probably suck at it. Let's put that on the wish list. You gonna let me put it on the wish list? My wish list? No, you're not. Okay. Um, and then on the other side of the coin, look at how many are flashbacks. Um, pixel flashbacks. So even though the world is going forward in tech, there does there is a huge movement of going backwards um, and returning to just classic 8-bit pixel, you know, Mario, Zelda E, JRPG type games. Um, so that's interesting that for every game that is you know using the most of the technology currently available. There are games that are revisiting the classic and being able to do the classic style while still taking full advantage of everything that's available to make really fun retro games, but still, you know, retro games that work f more fluid and take more advantage of the systems that are available to them and maybe not as, not as glitchy. So what does this mean? Probably nothing. It's just sort of interesting that, you know, we have these two, two schools of thought in video game design right now. Uh, what does this mean? Pro I don't know. It probably means nothing, but it's just interesting. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Hello, Legend of Trinidad. That looks like a fighting game. Um, hmm. I'm not seeing a lot of Oculus games, though I'm sure there are some on, on here. But most of them just look pretty much pretty standard console or computer games. I mean, I guess most of these can be played with the VR. But I'm not seeing enough, a lot that are just... Um, straight to the VR. What does that mean? That probably means that, you know... Even though we know that the VR Oculus stuff is the eventual future of some of maybe, but then again, maybe it's not. Maybe people are just like, you know what, this just really just doesn't work. It's great for some things, but really it's maybe it's not the future of video gaming. Maybe it's just sleeker, faster, more portable games that it can be played on multiple formats, phones, tablets, computers, um, that take full advantage of the tech, but maybe the matrixy predictions of the future of video games isn't a thing yet. I mean, the, the Oculus technology has come, you know, pretty forward and advanced already, but maybe it's just from the point of view, if I'm a video game designer, it's not at the level yet where I would think I want to design the game for. That one looks. There we go. There's one. This looks like an Oculus game, but it also says right there, minimalist. Hmm. Don't know. I don't know enough about video games to make an educated guess. So I'm just making a random guess that based upon what I'm looking at. We're definitely seeing two different styles. We've got the 8-bit retro games, and then we've got the games that, you know, take full advantage of everything that's currently available. But we're not seeing a lot of Oculus VR games this year. But of course, again, we're a year behind, so who knows? Anyways, again, if you're a video game person and want to check out some video games and want to see some demos that you can play for free for a week and want to, you know, maybe take a look at what the future of the video game hobby might be, 
This is going on on Steam between June 16th and June 22nd, probably because the big E3 video networky thingy is coming up. There you go. Talk to you, Steve's, later.